Hello, everyone, and welcome to week eight. I can't believe it. Week eight with our lovely Selle. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Eight out of 12 weeks at the mm. farm. Yeah. What a ride. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And what a great... Uh, I mean, the, 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 the title of today's episode is The Highs and the Lows mm. and the Roller Coaster <laughs> Journey. <laughs> All right, so let's yeah. just dive in. So, how did the week begin? Because it's a, it's a roller coaster, so that means that we're going a little bit up and down. Yeah, stretching yeah. through the week. Yeah, yeah. I had um, a weekend, last weekend, and the beginning of this week was like, Oh, it was, uh, I could, uh, I felt, honestly, I felt so good. And mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of positive emotions flowing through my body effortlessly. It was super easy to connect to my heart. It was super easy to con con connect with inspiration and motivation and uh, had this light mood and was easy to be social and laughing and a little bit cheeky, you know. Yeah, and um, I had peace of mind. I could very, very easily just like ah, relax, you know, enjoy the feel. It was just like a lot more body presence, mm. and could really enjoy the the energy that was in my body. And um, could also I also um, experienced a lot of self love, mm -hmm. and it just bubbled up like without me wanting it it just came you know and that was uh, really beautiful to experience uh, as well yeah so I really got to uh, experience um, what is to come mm. yeah it's very uh, so a, a big light shining in the tunnel <laughs> so what's to come does that mean that it's not there <laughs> it didn't last <laughs> It didn't, it, last. What it, it didn't last. It didn't last. Oh, darn. It didn't last. Oh, <laughs> darn. Yep. Okay, uh, one so step what happened forward, then? one step back, and then yeah. step forward again. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So that has been the week, and um, it slowly started to take me down a bit. And uh, I think it started with um, I felt uh, a lot more activity in my mind. It I had this feeling of. Uh, that I was struggling with my mind again. I want to be in my body, but my mind wants to be thinking, and I want to be in my body, and my mind wants to be in this, like, back and forth that is, uh, yeah, I take it very personally. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, again, uh, seeing how but there's a lot of identification with thought and whatever is going on here, that that really can, like, dictate my mood. And um, yeah. as the, the week went along, it other things happened and frustration and anger came up very strong and mm -hmm. that's very unusual for me yeah. uh, very rare feelings to feel and it was really strong it's also connected uh, to my stomach and what was happening there with me overeating and my stomach saying you're eating too much and I was like but I want to eat and I went through that I don't know how many times until yeah and um yeah, it's um, so. Yeah, highs and lows. Highs and lows, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the experience of going through that and uh, navigating that is not always easy, no. uh, and it, it has been disheartening from time to time. Yeah. Um, and over the weekend, we typically have two days off, so it's a very two days is a long time. Um, with nothing, no plans, and uh, you, it becomes, uh, it became, it can become quite intense to navigate on their own because during the Monday to Friday, there's so much support, there's so much structure, so many classes that helps me move through the feelings. And then I really had to this weekend come back to so, what can I do? You know, when I'm on my own, how can I navigate this? It was, yeah. it was very good practice. It is a very good practice, and then it's very uh, intentionally that we have all the structures Monday to Friday, and then there's two days where there's sometimes there's no classes. Sometimes there is things going on, there's other activities, 
But um, the point is to have integration during those two days because it's so easy to just go through all this support and never have to have any like self-regulation practice. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and also the nervous system and the body, it's like we're going so deep during the weeks that we have to give the body a little bit of time to reflect and integrate. And also we, I mean, we are here, so it's not like you, we leave you alone <laughs> somewhere, but so, I mean, if something happens, I mean, we're here. So it's, it's, a, it, it, the point is to, to really see what's going on, what's going on when I need to hold space for myself, but we're still in, in a safe environment and, and uh, with people around. So, like, how can I deal with my own stuff coming up? And some weekends are easier because it depends on where we are in the, in the flow of, of things, you know. So it is a really, really good practice because then what's coming up is perfect to bring in into the next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, nice work during the weekend <laughs> holding space for yourself. No, but it is a really, really important practice because you won't be here forever, you know. So yep. it's like, I, it's, it's about being giving all these tools and resources and like, okay, how do I use them by myself? Mm -hmm. And how, what works, what didn't work? Okay, yeah. this worked, or this did not work. <laughs> exactly. And that's okay, you know, it's, it's okay yeah. to, to, to not be on top of things all yeah, the time. And, and it's a lot easier to see what are my... Um, what are the coping patterns that I feel fall back to? Yeah, yeah. And like, what? So, am I like, add, am I relying on my old style of coping, or so, can I add, yeah. you know, the new style of coping yeah. and find it? Because I felt that like Saturday was more like I did my old way, a little bit new, but uh, it was not so dedicated. And Sunday I stepped it up a notch and I p added more new practices and tools and I had a, a lot a lot better day yeah so yeah. so then you see like okay so this is like this is this is experiences that we can't give you it's like when you're in the class or in the structure we can't give you these realizations like you wouldn't be sitting here saying like okay on Saturday I used my old coping mechanisms I felt like shit so that didn't work and then and then so the difference is the difference is that you on the Sunday you kind of like okay that didn't work I, I, I really want I, I want to try something new and then you try it and then you have a better day mm -hmm. instead yep. before you came here you would do the old coping mechanism on Saturday and then you would do the old coping mechanism on Sunday as well mm -hmm. so something is to like really see the way that you shift and that you it's okay because we go a little bit back and forth the, the road to success is never straight it's just never straight not for me not for you not for Simba not for anyone so it's like it is this little back and forth as you say like the highs and the lows yeah. and 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 but slowly slowly we start to rise and things get better. And then yeah. you almost, all, all of a sudden, you have these brilliant days and then body knows you're in a, in a healing vortex. So it says yeah. like, okay, let's just be here for a while and then on to the next. <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so much fun. But also a bit challenging. I, I, um, <laughs> but what I found very interesting was that you came in connection with your anger and you said that that's not very uh, often. Mm. So how did that feel? Um, well, I felt very frustrated. <laughs> frustrated about it as well. Um, no, but let's see. Um, yeah, it, it was... Often when I get into those modes, I feel that I connect to this like angry little child within. Yeah. And I often want to like bang stuff or like jump around like an angry kid, like no, 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 you know, st stuff like this. My body really, like I can see so clearly that for <laughs> I process it through physical, uh, 
by by moving my body. Yeah, it's like physical Physi- outbursts. Physical outbursts, exactly. Yeah, and um, and also it was interesting because I, it was over like a two hour period, um, which is very long for me because normally it's like uh, you know maybe it flares up. Yep. If it would flare up, because honestly, I, I'm, I have not experienced much anger in my life, but I have little flares of frustration or irritation. It flares up, I'm like, I do something like, Hurrah! and then it's gone, you know. But now I, it was like a two hour period, which is really long for me. And it was also very interesting to, yeah, to allow myself to be in it and having that like conscious awareness okay what am i doing here yes i'm just allowing it to to me and myself to feel it um for it to exist for it to be seen because i know that's the way that emotions actually uh, releases through my body no like stuffing down or constant fight of trying to like get it out of my system but what was a little bit scary was that i was like really and like internalizing it a lot and mm-hmm. um, i was i just I was so clearly i was sitting out here on my little terrace in my hammock and i was like seeing my toe and i was like <laughs> i was like truly hating my toe you know and i was like whoa that's a little bit taking it and then okay i came back from that and then second i was looking at the, like the hairs on my legs and i was like hating the hairs on my legs and i'm like what's going on here? I'm, I'm, I'm hating, like, I'm taking something inside, looking at my own physical body and hating that, yeah. that body part. Yeah. And I was like, gosh, that is not healthy. Don't do that. <laughs> no, but that, you know, so, so when, so the, this anger is already inside of your body and this process is, is silent. So, well, it used to be silent. So you used to internalize the anger and turn it into yourself. But now it's finally coming to the surface so that you can see what you're actually doing. Mm. So the process here allows the emotions to come to the surface and to show you, okay, this is what I'm actually doing. So finally, it's visible. Because when mm. it's non-visible, it just goes automatic. So it's an automated system that that has created because we spoke about this a lot about the anger that you've never been able to express anger at all and and, and that you've suppressed it so much and turned it into people pleasing that it's just buried so deep inside. And this has been an intention that we've set from the absolute get go because we know that the anger is connected to the to the stomach pain. And now finally it's starting to rise to the surface so that you can observe it and start to deal with it and learn a new healthy way because internalizing it is what's actually causing a lot of the the stress and the the diseases in the body. Mm -hmm. It comes from this suppressed anger that is just internalized, internalized. Because when we aren't allowed to express the anger like outside as a child we internalize it we turn it against ourselves so we start to hate on ourselves and that's the this ongoing process that is as you said like wow this is not healthy this is not how i want to live my life but now it's accessible and it's so interesting because we said this week (laughs) is anger week yep so (laughs) So it's a uh, perfect timing that we will work with the anger this week. Yeah. And I can see it in this, like, in this, uh, the high and the low experience, because I've had this, I mean, we all have this, but it's very easy for me to, um, to fall into, oh, it's hopeless, nothing helps, this is never going to end. That's like my, where I, most of the time I end, uh, end up. Mm. And I ha- yeah. I've had had those feelings as well today and yesterday and over the weekend but this time it's more like I'm I feel that I'm frustrated about having them yes so they're also triggering my frustration because I'm like I'm ready to move on I think that they are connected to the anger Hmm. that's usually what I see and that's exactly how it was for myself that this will never end 
and the anger are super connected because mm. we're angry because it will never end. <laughs> and that's the feeling, but it's the feeling, it's the perception of the child because the child has no perception of time. It doesn't know what's happening. It doesn't have the emotional intelligence or the, 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 the skills if, you know, to navigate the world and to understand that nothing lasts forever. I don't, it, it won't be like this. I have, when I go, I mean, the child doesn't know that, oh, when I grow old, I can learn these things, you know, <laughs> and help myself. They don't know that. So the child doesn't know that. So for them, it will always be like this. And that's, it's a feeling. It will always mm. be like this. It's yeah. not a truth. So it's a feeling that you, that we detox in the same way as we detox any other emotion that we have you know, backed up in the system. And when these things come up, it means that the body is processing that emotion. But we think that it's facts. We think that it's real. Instead, the, 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 the adult person is dealing with the emotions from the child and the child believed, I will never be free from this. This it will always be like this. And that's why we develop these coping mechanisms to just have a, a life where we, that is, that is, you know, unsufferable, you know, that we, we don't have to suffer as much. So we do something about it. And that's the child's me coping mechanism. And now we are untangling that. But that means we need to go to the child and, and, and help the child heal. So it's a, but we believe it. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very strong. So, and it's, you will see that it's, you will, you will see this in, 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 a, in a lot of people. It will always be like this. It will never go away. Mm -hmm. And then all, all of a sudden it does go away and it doesn't have to be like this. Hmm. <laughs> so well done. I think it's very important that you go through that process and uh, I'm very happy that you are able to do it while you're here. Yes. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So what do you do when you find yourself on the bottom of the barrel? This will never <laughs> end. You, so you felt really crappy on Saturday and you, you went back to the old stuff. But what did you do on, on the Sunday that, that started to turn things around? Well, I spent a lot more time grounding. Mm -hmm. um, because it has become clear to me that um, when I'm in those modes, it, I'm, I'm activated mentally um, and I have a hard time um, finding peace of mind and stepping back from the frontal cortex and being in my body. So I spent a lot of time grounding because I noticed that the grounding slows down the speed of my thoughts. Um, so that what I did um, two yeah sessions before lunch on Sunday grounding, and I used my my favorite tool is uh, EFT, the emotional freedom technique. When we tap on acupressure points while feeling the emotions and processing the emotion, that really helps me ground. And I notice so easily with just EFT because I start yawning directly, and I. Really appreciate that. And um, then I did um, um, some l light meditation as well as uh, pressure ball point rolling. When you have yep. these yeah, little foam balls and I yeah, put the them here mm. around the neck because, uh, b because over the last couple of days when I have been moving into this anger frustration area, I've been tensing up a lot mm. around my neck and shoulders. Mm. So I was using the, the ball to work on those areas. And then, um, yeah, in the second um, class, I did some um, um, lymph massage. Yeah. And I have a, a routine that I have gotten that I do for my knees. So mm. I do a little knee strengthening routine and all of that it like it brings me into my body it makes me focus on my breath connect with my breath um 
I'm on the mat, being on the yoga mat is really like a place for a healing space for me, just being there, my body just like, ah, okay, we are doing, we're, yeah, we're grounding now. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then, um, then I did some, in the afternoon, I did some, uh, yeah, walking around the area and re really being in my body. Yeah. Uh, and so it was just, because I did so much grounding, like in the early start of the day, that really created like a foundation for me to experience yeah. the rest of the day. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that shows a lot. I mean, that, that really gives you the, the, that's the recipe, you know, it's like, wanting to ground even though we don't want to ground <laughs> because sometimes we just feel like oh fuck it i don't want to do this i yep. i give up i don't do anything and it's okay you know it's but we that we learn to slowly okay sometimes we go back to our old routines the old coping mechanisms and that's fine it's like the rainbow path that simba talks about a lot you know that we can't be perfect like in a, in a heartbeat because we need to unwind and, and like untangle everything that we've been through and it takes time. So it's like, mm -hmm. this is the one step forward, two steps back and then three steps forward and then one back. And like, so sometimes some days we just aren't able to, to, to do all of those things and that's okay. But then the next day we wake up and like, okay, I will start this day in another way. That's why the morning routine and the morning practice is so important because it's at exactly as you say, it sets the foundation of grounding. And sometimes it actually lasts the whole day. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to know that you are here to access all the stuff. You know, that's one of the big intentions. And yep. since you're still here, the intention is to access the next layer to next layer, the next layer. We're not in a phase where we want to stabilize yet. So mm -hmm. that's so it's also very important to remember that when also you start to ground, then the next layer will become available. And you're mm -hmm. on a very deep healing journey. So, you know, when when from from my point of view, you you sail and then you go, you know, and then you ground, and then you can reach the next level. Because when the body feels safe, then the next thing to process comes up. So that just means that mm -hmm. you're doing a really really good job, because the, yeah. the anger is coming out. Yes. Yeah. You Thank you for really, reflecting that. Yeah. <laughs> you are really doing a good yeah. job yeah i can yeah. also understand why this self-healing journey is so challenging because because of exactly that you know when you're really doing the job and you're grounding and um the body's feeling safer and safer then comes the the hard stuff up and yes. it, I, I know from my own journey that it has been so disheartening many times that that oh i'm feeling better everything is calmer less pain and then bam a lot of pain yeah. again and i was like oh but yeah. i thought i was doing it right and i must be doing something wrong and yeah it's, but it's, it's in fact it's the other way around yeah you're exactly doing it right you're doing because, it right because we oh. want to get to the root cause we want to remove the negative energy that is unprocessed that is causing the distress in the body yeah, that 100%. is the whole point it's like we 100%. want to go through it and that's not always fun but it on the other end so it's like short-term discomfort for long-term freedom mm -hmm. so it's like stopping facing oneself okay what am i doing what what is my body doing and and listening to the body and trying yeah. not to control it with the mind and the body says okay, I'm ready to release something else. I'm ready to mm. remove something else. I'm ready to let go of something from the past. And then I, step by step, you become lighter. Yeah. It's very fascinating because, you know, the way I felt that society is working is the opposite. That, you know, th that is like, oh, it's not okay to feel bad. It's yep. not okay to feel pain. We must do something about it. So it's really, 
the world we live in is like trying to help us, but by, by pointing in the wrong direction, basically. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a lot of things that are promoted nowadays is uh, performance, stress, do more, uh, run faster. Um, emotional intelligence is not really something that is uh, readily available to everyone. It's something that some people uh, are more grounded by, by nature because that's, you know, that's their... Um, genetic uh, predisposition and how they grew up you know they came from from a place that is more safe and grounded and then safe and grounded people are created from safe and grounded environments but some people haven't and those people don't know how to do that because it's not in their structure it's it's not it they haven't been taught that growing up so we need Mm -hmm. to relearn and we need to let go of the things that we haven't processed and that's what we are um, talking about and, and doing and living, you know, this way of being in harmony with the body, mm-hmm. like really listening to the body and, and navigating from the body, not from the mind and listening to the body. What does it want to do? And then we have a period of time. If we haven't done that before, there's a period of time that will Activate, you know, the the unprocessed stuff, but it's just unprocessed stuff. It doesn't have anything to do with the current reality, and mm. that's what. But but sometimes it's so strong, so we forget that. Yeah, and I feel that's a little bit where I can see that where I am right now. It's also this like going from one way of doing things to a new way of doing things. But yeah. I I need to that bridge is not like. Uh, you know, maybe it's like a rope bridge, but I want it to be like a stable, yeah, like a stone bridge, like yeah. you know. So yeah, like it's it's this transition phase where I like I I have felt how it can be, but yeah. I'm not really there. And then like every day, like is me practicing. Yes, it and, is a practice. And, yeah, and uh, well strengthening described. strengthening yes. that new yes. muscle, so yes. to speak. Yes, and uh, that's just the word. And I know that you know it's the the daily work we do that creates the future, and it's just like one day at a time. Yes, yes. But it's also very important to look to really stop and look how far have I come. Mm-hmm. You know, like h- how did I feel when I got here? What was my intention? Yes, good stuff. Yeah. A little diary. Yes. Go back and read. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. That's where. Oh, I, I felt like absolute shit before. <laughs> now I just feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it's it's also important to be reflected because the the amount of of results that you've had is um, amazing. I mean, just go back a couple of episodes and and listen to you know we have one episode where it's just results. So it's just hitting that layer of a new emotion. But that emotion then becomes our reality. So we mm. forget to see. We, we can't. It's like we can't see clearly. We can't yeah, see. We, we, we're not pragmatic. It's like, oh, this is better. And I'm not, not doing this anymore. And not this anymore. And not this anymore. Or the fact that I couldn't feel my emotions at all. <laughs> there were no was, emotions. Yeah. And you were like, <laughs> I want to feel my emotions. And then we feel the emotions like, I don't want to feel my emotions. <laughs> Pretty much it. It's like, no. <laughs> okay, you fought so hard to feel your emotions, <sighs> the negative yeah, emotion funny. that was causing like this absolute upheaval in your stomach. And then yeah. when you get it, you're like, no. Like, oh, what no, do you no. mean? No, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's funny how it works. It's, yes. Yeah. And that's what, that, that's what we need to remember that it's like, it's super serious and it's super awful and like, I don't want to be angry. I don't want to feel this. And then we also need to see that it's, if we, if we if, you know, when you see people who live in like horrible situations, they still laugh, you know, they still mm. enjoy each other. It's like, we have to remember that the way out of the misery is coming back to the heart, coming back to the joy. And we are, incredible beings that are able to feel both things at the same time it's incredible 
And that's where the gratitude comes in, like being grateful for what we have and, you know, the ability to do this work because mm. not all people are privileged to do this inner work. So it's really, yeah, it's really a gift, you know, to be able to do that. Yes. Very yeah. grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. And that our um, purpose is to show people that it's possible to, to live in internal freedom, you know, the personal, emotional, you know, physical, financial, whatever freedom you are looking for, it's possible. Mm -hmm. And the inner work is the way to do that because we're so stuck in our old ways and in the, in the heavy emotions. And they, so what we feel on the inside is manifesting on the outside. And then we can work through that layer by layer. Yeah. And it's a powerful journey. And that's why we're here, you know, talking about it because we want to show people that it's possible and that it sucks, but it's still okay, you know? <laughs> that there is a road, there is a way out. And that's what I feel with women, that they are so, they're like, there's a road, there's a way out. You mean I don't have to feel like this? Oh, yeah. you say it's going to suck for a little bit? I that's don't okay. care. Yeah. That's okay, because I'm not staying here. Anything yeah. is better than staying here. I will deal with whatever. And that's, the, that's this incredible spirit of, of the female that is rising at the moment and that I see so clearly in the people it's just like women like you, you know, you're, you're doing it. You're standing up. You say, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the trajectory of my life. Mm. It will suck for a little bit, but I'm, 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 I'm okay with that because in the long term, it will be amazing. And that's why it's so inspiring to work with people like you. It's, it's really imp impressive. So I, I really want you to remember <laughs> the good things that you're doing and where this road leads it's just a little bit heavy sometimes but we do it together yeah and it's very inspiring to have a teacher like you <laughs> because uh, yeah it's um, it's incredible i'm so grateful for that and um yeah we don't you know the, when you start listening to people you really realize that we many of us battles with the same things Yes. Completely different upbringings, completely different families or lifestyles. And it's, we're so similar. Yes. And um, you're seeing that gives me a lot of strength in, uh, yeah. and also knowing that, yeah, I don't need to figure this out on my own. No. There, I don't have to go the long way. Through you, I'm finding a very uh, ef uh, efficient way up the mountain to the top. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have might to, not be the, the it might be a little bit steeper but <laughs> it's a bit steeper yeah <laughs> but it's but yeah, it's, it's, it's shorter it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's that's definitely. what people want you know they want the shortcut the the results yeah yeah thank you so much for sharing super inspiring thank you for having me yes and um yeah september 4 we are going online with the exact uh, gut health program or gut harmony program that Sally is doing. We're packing, get, packing it up to a, a condensed uh, transformation. We will transition all the knowledge to you in four weeks, starting September 4. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to learn more. If you have any questions, reach out. Um, yeah, or read all about what we do at livingwiththespirit.com. That's it for today. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ciao. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.